Hey, what's up? I just want to give this really quick review on Candyman. Um, I can't even get to the creative elements on Candyman because I need to touch base on what's happening with Jordan Peele and this new genre of racial horror. So I think it's almost insane that in our country that we are literally entertaining the idea of a genre and entertainment called racial horror. Um, so what's happening is creatives are using the injustices of black Americans and turning it into some type of creative horror story. And I just find it insane, right? And when you look at the situation, when Jordan Peele first did his first movie, Get Out, it was kind of interestingly fascinating and like really good. Um, it was a shocker. It was like, oh my God, you know, this person was able to some kind of way implement um, white supremacy, black liberation, and horror all in one place. But what, I, what I'm gathering it with, with this new genre and this new fetish and this new infatuation is it's, it's consistent now. There's this genre of racial horror that's taken the mishap, the misfortune of African Americans in some kind of way, turn it, turning it into a, black, a box office phenomenon. Now, I'm all for black creativity because I'm a black woman and I'm for black uh, creativity, black liberation, black progression, all those things, black empowerment. But what I'm not for is black people constantly, like your pain, black people's pain constantly being monetized and black people not have no benefit from it. So for example, I just want to say that racial horror is not basically us going to the movies and watching um, a Jordan Peele plot twist. Racial horror is actually slavery um, Jim Crow, mass incarceration, police brutality, redlining, zoning. Those are actual racial horrors in this country that black people experience very often. Also, let's keep in mind that when you think of racial horror, it's not just about saying Candyman and it's not about the get out phenomenon. Racial horror is really about um, how Sandra Bland was killed, how... Tamir Rice was killed, how Philando Castile was killed, how Mike Brown was killed, how George Floyd was killed, how um, Alton Sterling was killed. Like these are actual racial horrors. So I think that although we go to the box office and we become we become so infatuated with blackness on screen, but we don't even really tap into to what benefit, to what benefit does this genre have for african-american progression no i'm not saying that everything on tv is supposed to be some kind of some form of black progress but i thought y'all was big on hoods right so it's kind of weird that a black man can go inside of another neighborhood and if that if those people don't know him they get he gets jumped he gets killed but you allow people to completely monetize your culture and you have nothing to say because the harsh reality about black horror as it becomes a genre in this country white people get paid from it white studios white cameramen white production companies white families are still going to get the highest amount of money attached to black horror genre. This is becoming so insane that I feel like I'm the only person on the planet that has a problem with racial horror in this story, in this country, because you all want to make it a Hollywood story, but you're living it and you're not getting a piece of that pie. I'm Madam President with the Z. That's my Candyman review. I'm out.